Hello, my name is Anna, and I will be the voice in this online platform. We just wanted to spend a couple of minutes to show you the main elements in this live curriculum. The live curriculum is neither about teaching technology, nor is it about teaching business independently of each other. This curriculum is about something different. This curriculum is about combining business and technology. This means that none of the technology it covers is taught for technology's sake. Rather, the curriculum applies technology to business to show how common, widely available technological tools can help solve common, widely encountered business challenges. All with the goal of helping businesses run smoother and grow faster. Let's now see how the life curriculum is organized. The life curriculum, as you will see, is split into different levels in order to address people with varying degrees of experience in business and with varying skill levels in technology. The first level of the curriculum is called Imagine. It addresses people, often young graduates, who are still only dreaming of having their own business. Imagine offers them training on basic business concepts, helping them build the foundations of their entrepreneurial thinking. The second level of the curriculum is called Plan. Plan also addresses young people who don't yet have their own business, but who have an idea about a business they would like to start. Plan helps them build a business plan for their company. The third level of the curriculum is called Start. Start addresses novices in business, helping them develop their basic IT skills so they can run their startup as effectively as possible from the very beginning. The fourth level of the curriculum is called Grow. Grow focuses on more advanced IT for business skills and gives entrepreneurs the tools to make decisions about further investments into technology. The fifth level is called Innovate. Innovate addresses experienced entrepreneurs who are looking to optimize their operational tasks by undergoing training on more sophisticated technology. The curriculum is also split into four different thematic areas, called modules, each of which focuses on a different area of business. These areas, marketing, operations, communications and finance, are present in all businesses, regardless of their size or how long they've been running. Moreover, all of these areas can present challenges to business owners and their employees. But all of them can be tackled through the smart use of information technologies. At the intersection of these levels and modules, we can find topics. The word topic is a very important one to remember. The topic is the basic unit of teaching in the life curriculum. As you will see, even though there are many different topics in the curriculum, the methodology behind teaching all of them is the same. We should also mention that the life curriculum matrix that you just saw is always evolving, so the set of topics that you will be using when you become a life trainer might look a bit different from the one you see on the screen right now. OK, let's now talk about the main pedagogical concepts in this curriculum. The first thing to have in mind is something called the Business Technology Business Framework, or BTB for short. BTB means that every life curriculum topic begins with a challenge in the sphere of business, a common business challenge faced by a typical micro-entrepreneur anywhere in the world. After the business challenge is identified, a technological solution is introduced. The class is shown some of the benefits of the technological solution and taught how to use it. Bear in mind, though, that this solution is always presented as one of many possible ones. The curriculum doesn't insist on particular brands or particular technological tools. But anyway, that is not enough. The class is then guided back into the domain of business, reflecting and discussing how to use the technological tool taught in the real business world. In other words, the focus is always on business and how technology can help in business. 
The BTB framework is a little bit different for the imagine and plan levels of the life curriculum though. These levels are designed for those students who don't have much experience in or knowledge about business, so the emphasis in these levels is purely on business, not on technology. Imagine and plan are there to give these students a real sense of what it means to be a micro-entrepreneur. But the goal of the life curriculum isn't just to teach how to use different technologies to solve business challenges. The goal is also to encourage them to apply their learning in their daily lives. This is done through something called the experiential learning cycle. The experiential learning cycle begins by providing students with some new information or theory. Then, it allows students to process that information through a hands-on experience. After that, students reflect on what they learnt. And finally, they go into the real world and apply what they learned. You will see better how this works as we go into more detail on the life curriculum methodology. We said that the topic is the basic unit of teaching in the life curriculum. What this meant was that all topics in the life curriculum have the same logic behind them and the same structure. This structure is called the topic flow. So what is this thing we call the topic flow? Do you remember the life curriculum main pedagogical concepts? We talked about two things, the business technology business framework and the experiential learning cycle. But we talked about these as pedagogical concepts, without discussing what they mean in practice. Well, when translated into practice, the business technology business framework and the experiential learning cycle give rise to, you guessed right, the topic flow. The topic flow is the sequence of components behind each topic in the live curriculum. As you can see, the topic flow consists of five distinct components. The topic flow is the same for all the topics in the live curriculum, and because it is the same, it means that once you know the methodology for teaching one topic, you will know the methodology for teaching all curriculum topics. The topic flow and the components that make up the topic flow are the core of the life curriculum methodology. Now that we've discussed the theory, let's talk about something very practical for a minute. We should tell you now that all the materials you need to deliver the life training are already prepared for you and translated into many different languages. As a certified life trainer, you won't have to prepare hardly any of the materials you need to teach topics from the life curriculum. The teaching materials that you will have access to as a certified life trainer include the following. The trainer handbook that covers all the life curriculum methodology and gives suggestions for how to deliver all the topic flow components for all the topics in the life curriculum. The student handbook which contains the step-by-step -step exercises for the hands-on activities for all the topics in the life curriculum. The slides of the virtual entrepreneur characters that you will show while telling the virtual entrepreneur stories. The colorful cards with a story for the business scenario, which are called question cards. Files for the hands-on activities for all the topics in the life curriculum, which are called exercise files and files for the demonstration for all the topics in the live curriculum, which are called demo files. You should know that the materials already exist, and that they have been prepared for you as part of the training materials for each topic in the live curriculum. And that's all you need to know about the live curriculum. Thank you for following this unit.